Developing in Sefner at this hour, the future of that property where a massive sinkhole killed a man late last week is still uncertain right now. We know that that home has been demolished, but we don't know what's happening out there right now. Rob Munoz is live in Sefner now to bring us up to speed. Good afternoon, Rob. Well, let me tell you, neighbors right now are not at ease. Even though the hole is now filled, as you can see here from the top of our truck, the owner we've talked to says he wants nothing to do with this land anymore. From the looks of it now, nothing might have existed on this Sefner lot. But as we know from pictures, this is the property that showed its sizable sinkhole from up above. Ricky Airy lives across the street and isn't convinced filling the hole is the solution. There was supposed to be this big cavern underneath this. They just drove a 30-ton daily out in the middle of that. How'd they drive that 30-ton mill out in the, out in the middle of that cavern? Buddy Wicker, who has owned it for 39 years, says there's too many lost memories and a lost life to replace what was there. But I won't never, it won't, I won't never build back on it. I don't want it. I don't, I definitely don't want it. He briefly chokes up, explaining there were never any signs since he moved in in 1974. I would never had no indication of nothing. I've... I've dug holes in the backyard, planted trees. Buddy says the land is now a tomb for Jeff Bush, whose body will likely never be recovered. Talk about putting a little park in here and putting a moral so, uh, for Jeff on that. What you put about, I love it. Now, we may never know what caused that specific piece of concrete slab under that house to give way, but Buddy says his insurance right now is covering everything. He did have single insurance, but he hopes today, after everything is gone from that site, finally, finally he can get some closure and move on. In Sefner, I'm Rob Munoz, ABC Action News.